This video outlines in short how to respond to each of the considerations that comprise the Request for Information, or RFI. How to submit the RFI response. And how to view the submitted versions of the clinical trial application. You have two ways of responding to an RFI, depending on what the MSC requests. By only addressing the considerations raised by the MSC, or by making changes in the application dossier in addition to addressing the considerations. Click on the lock button to be able to work on a response to the RFI. In this case, on the trial page, changes have been applied in the application as part of the RFI response. On the right side, you can use the Discard Changes button to remove the changes on the application that were populated. If you keep the changes below, click the Add Document button to upload a document to describe the changes on the application that were introduced as part of this specific RFI response. Be sure that the Includes Application Changes box is ticked in. Below, in the dedicated field, you can add more documents to support your response, as indicated in the blue text box. Scroll down to the area of the considerations to respond separately to each one of them. Click on the lock button to unlock the area and be able to type your response in the dedicated field. You can also upload additional supporting documents for the consideration by using the Add Document button. The Submit Response button is inactive. You need first to save your response using the respective button and then you will enable the Submit Response button. Click on it to submit your RFI response. A message on the upper right corner indicates that the RFI response has been submitted. Since you just submitted an RFI response, including changes on the application, you have created a new version of the application. The blue dots indicate changes on the sections of the dossier. Click on Part 1 section, and on the right side, use the Versions drop-down button to view the different submitted versions of the application. Versions that were created due to validation RFIs will be listed in both Part 1 and 2 sections. Besides the initial version and the two common versions that are originated from RFIs related to validation, there are two versions from Assessment of Part 1. Part 2 section will be having different sequence of submitted application versions from that of Part 1. It will have the common versions, originated from the initial application and RFIs related to validation. And a version from RFI responses related to Part 2 assessment in that MSC. This video is part of the CTIS training program. For more information on how to respond to an RFI and its considerations, as well as how to view the various versions of a clinical trial application, you may visit our training platform and our additional materials.